Hello, everybody. You caught me just about to swallow my multivitamins. Um, is what I'm doing right now. As you can see, there is some debate over to my right side. Your left, maybe. I don't know. Your right. He's not enjoying being in that cage, but he needs to be in that cage. Because he has a bad leg. And he needs to rest it. So, you might be hearing him throughout this video. His name is Gizmo. I would show him, but I can't even bother to move my camera. So today, guys, we're going to be reacting to more Reach animations. We reacted to the first series of Instant Logs, which apparently, according to Reach, isn't their best work and the good work stats on this season. There are three episodes in this series. I think we're going to watch the first two because the third one's literally 26 minutes long. It can literally be its own video and we can pick it apart. Now, this video that we're on here, Autopsy FNAF VHS, is the one that I remember reacting to a while back. But we're going to watch it again and we're going to watch Victims as well. Just to kind of remind ourselves because I, I genuinely can't remember. My memory is hazy at the best of times. So, as I said before, this is Reach Animations. Be sure to go subscribe like the video, all that good stuff, and we're going to jump in. Here we go. She can dance? No, we're not doing that today. We're not doing it. What was that? Was that... No. Oh, it's one of these again. I can't read what that says. <laughs> ah! Got flashbanged. Addendum 43C. Begin log. Hey. Based on the lab report, mm -hmm. this appears to be a Denim 43C, labeled specifically as the anomaly. The anomaly. Okay. Let's get started. Scheduled date. 5383 modified animatronic hybrid beginning documentation hmm subject appears to be an animatronic about 7.3 feet in height it's a big boy long limbs and sharp extremities oh god So, uh, oh. the subject appears to have organic bone, teeth, and jaw. Ah, oh, so it's actually got like human teeth. Origin at this time is unknown. What's that? Has it got pubes coming out of its mouth? What was Laceration that? and precise incision will cause bleeding. Ugh. Origin of the blood is unknown. That's not good. Results later will identify the source of this. Ah, I look forward to hearing about that. Ew. So in the last series he was caught. Upon opening the chest cavity and splitting the vertebrae of the spine. Ugh. Blood was found inside. So he's got a freaking origin of this skin. Thing. Is unknown. Human skin. That's so no. eyes. 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 Yep. Yeah. Eyes. We can see him. What are they were they organic too? I don't think so. I can say that. I mean, they do look kind of... Concluding notes. It has been determined that this was not artificially made and was made biologically using humanoid tissue. Okay, and we know that Will is... Origin of this material is unknown. We know that Will is behind making this thing. Further experimentation and observation is necessary. Mm. 
Addendum 43C, labeled as the anomaly, was alive. Is alive. Right. Okay. Well, that's fun. Okay, so this second one is called Victims. So, whatever freaking Will was work, William Afton, she can dance, she can sing. No, we was working on. He possesses me. He just comes over. I can't. I can't help it. It just. I have to say it. It's like a. It's like a. A tick. So he made this animatronic out of human organ tissue, which is kind of. If you think about it, William's known for killing children. So that's. Uh, that's kind of spooky. Okay, so this is Victims, March 11th, 1983. Henry Emily. Detective Adrian Crawford. Take a seat. Take a seat. Go on. Have a seat there, mate. I'm trying not to take too much of your time here, Mr. Emily. My name is Adrian Crawford. I uh, work with the FBI. Crawford. Myself and the other agents at the Bureau went and investigated the little establishment here. Mm hmm. Uh, so there was a decent amount of suspicion regarding this here uh, restaurant, circus. Uh, describe it to me. Well, Detective. Well, Detective. Me and my good partner, William, have been funding this project for a very long period of time. And if you've done a The question is why does William want to ruin Henry's life so much. Amount of digging, you would see that our main goal here is to use the art of machinery to create a fun and enjoyable place for kids of all ages. May I ask, what do you mean by a suspicion? Oh, well, funnily enough, there are, there is a child's arm hanging out of one of the animatronic's mouth. Can you kindly explain that? Well, of course. Let me bring William in to explain that. Can dance. There have been three reported deaths in the premises in the last month. Oh. To put it lightly, Mr. Emily, uh, you're being interviewed now for suspected involvement in these crimes. Okay. Straight to the point, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, one death, you know, that's enough to kind of go, whoa, what the hell happened there? Three deaths. That's right. Yeah, after the second one, you go, right, that two deaths. What's happening here? Shut this place down. This is a health and safety. But third, that's... Yes, Detective. I am aware of these. I was informed that they were all just, well, freak accidents. It's like action pack. Applications of the machinery and whatnot. Oh, well, I'd love to agree with you, but upon further investigation, uh, it doesn't look like that's the case. Don't be yet. What's that? That is my penis. <laughs> no. Be the result of okay. The so shaft oh, so that was um, Jim. Was it? Jim was dead in the first oh, dear series. God. Dear God. Mr. And then what? The second one was must have been the the car crash. No. This is something far beyond the work of a simple elevator problem. Oh, okay. So this is the. I'm guessing this is the factory, like the sister location factory in which they ha house the animatronics. You have a killer in your establishment. Or is it the actual restaurant? I'm saying this very plain and simply. Let me explain. This you have let me explain. another incident where the technical staff member got eviscerated in the break room passageway. Eviscerated? What were you told happened to this employee? Well, I was told that the employee went into cardiac arrest. I was told that they died on the scene, plain and simple. It's quite horrible. Uh, right, okay. The employee appears to have large tears and gashes all along the head, torso and arms. Yeah, that's a... Organs that's a that's a cardiac arrest if I've ever heard of. The region have uh, all been removed. Hmm. That's a very strong kayak arrest. What I'm getting from this is, there is a killer in my facility. That's literally what he said. He, he, Henry, pay attention. Pay attention, Henry. Stop dozing off. Brilliant. So, 
Nice. I like it. I like this. February 2nd, 1983. So this is... The actual restaurant. Uh. Oh, that animation is dope. Come on, who's out there? Who's there? Where is this? Oh, this poor unsuspected night guard. I hate this job. He never saw it coming. Well, that seven foot tall thing. Right, that's, um, ooh, that's not nice, that's not nice, oh, that gave me goosebumps, that gave me the goose pimples, March 10th, 1983, is this another, another victim? William Afton, oh, <laughs> yes, yes, William, hello, I'm William Afton. I can dance, I can sing. Your name is William Afton, correct? Correct. All right, you're with the establishment. I am director of operations, so yes. We have a couple of questions we would like to ask you, Mr. Afton. How exactly is your relationship with your co-partner, Mr. Emily? Hmm. Well, Henry and I go way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically built this place from the ground up. Yeah. I met him on a trip to a convention in New York. We talked to discuss our plans for the future, and it was like stars aligned. Mmm, yes. I used my savings to bring my family here to the United States, and we started a business. Mm, of course, yes. yes After yes. years of work, we finally started two locations. The diner and the... Facility. I thought you said vagina then. Both had their flaws, but we made a living off of it. Well, it seems that you two have it off well. Have you two ever had any suspicions of each other? Maybe so much fucking drama or some conflict? Hmm. I mean, I'll be. We have our moments. Every friend does. As far as conflict, I would say we have had minimal disagreements. All right. Now, the reason why we fold you and your employees under investigation here is in correlation with the recent deaths in the premises. Uh, you've had three deaths in the past month, if I'm correct. That in the past month? Jesus! Listen, the heart attack, I mean, no heart attack involves lacerations to the chest and... What is this? Well, we actually found a tape. He made a tape basically saying he's going to burn Henry to the freaking ground. Well, let me just play this for you, good sir. That's not me. That's not we me. Don't. We just want to hear your side of the story. First of all, I wasn't aware of any car accident. You just said you were. The person who tries to drive like a fool on my property is not my responsibility. But he works for the company now. He worked with your establishment, Mr. Afton. Mm. Really? Yeah, what? His name was Toby Kirkland. He was part of your management staff. Interesting. Mm, yes. Yes, quite. Yes. Any comments? Nope. <laughs> no. Moving Don't on. trust him. One of your janitorial staff and one of your technical staff were also reported deceased on your premises. Can you explain this? That janitor went into cardiac arrest. And sliced himself up. That collapsed due to a broken hand. Our reports here uh. said that he died due to a fan blade within the elevator that dislodged. So, are you trying to say that our reports are false, Mr. Afton? Yes. Yes, they are. Damn. 
Yeah. Right, straight to the point. Okay. Big t uh, that's suspect number one right there. Mmm, William. Yes. I mean, he's not painting himself. Hey, I think he's quiet. Oh, he gone. I think he's covering something up. No Our shit. The said the exact opposite. It's obviously bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm reading the reports here. It says that he can dance. He can. Then tell your supervisor that we need to detain him. No. No, no matter how much we get from that man, we don't have enough solid evidence to bring to the table. God damn it. This is bullshit. Calm yourself, Corporal. Calm yourself down, Corporal. Yes, you have a detective on the case. Oh, big deal. Plus, he's with the FBI. Ooh, FBI's on the scene now. Lovely jubbly. Can he dance? Can he sing? Can he hit the gritty? What the f... Ew. What do you look like? They look like one of those really, like, chocolate smiley faces. You are almost there. So... You got him on the end of a screen. Who? Don't allow him to be free. Oh, Mr. William. Mm-hmm. Just don't let them get away. Okay, sure. If you could just back it up a little bit. I can do what you say, but just... Okay, was that... Co that was Cody, right? Or is it William? Uh, that's Cody. It followed behind him. Yes, that... Oh my god. He's getting sturdy with it. He doesn't look like he's going that fast though. Look at him go, man. I got bands. Alright. But surely he's under, contr under the control of... He lost control. Well, was he in the middle of the road? The crash nearly nearly killed him. Oh, you mean killed the uh, animatronic? Or watch? <laughs> it found him and finished the job. Oh jeez, what did that sound like? I'm about to go. Damn. I mean, at least it was a kind, a relatively quick death. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a little bit stupid driving that fast. Then again, I guess he was trying to get away. Was he trying to get away? Did he know it, it was being followed or? Oh, damn. <laughs> Okay. Jesus. How do they fit all those cars down that narrow lane, though? You know what I mean? Aftermath. Shady. Well, there isn't much left of them. What was the cause? Well, I could definitely tell her that he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. He dated a Hello Kitty woman. <laughs> where he is now and where the crash happened, he flew about 35 feet. Do you think he survived the impact? It's not likely. By the time he hit the ground, he was probably already dead. Mmm. Well, you're shit at your job. What I don't job. understand is how he was mangled so much. It's a serious accident, yes, but he was almost torn apart. Maybe bears. Oh, was it a bear? Hey, I'm on the... I doubt it. Hey. All of the commotion would have scared off anything in the area. You reckon? Well, it could have been something else. Like? 
Like an animatronic designed by William Afton that can dance and sing. I've never really believed them, but I also haven't seen them with my own eyes. Maybe. Hmm. Stop screaming, right? We're right here, okay? Keep it down. When the forest was about to catch fire, yes. You're more than welcome to scream. But now everything's okay. Stop screaming. We're good. Just analyzing the driver. We should be on our way out soon. I'm going to go see if we can get some additional investigation on this one. Turns out he gets home and he actually talks like that. Hey, honey, how's the work? All right, give me a body bag while you're over there. Where would I find one of those? Foreign compartment in the ammo. You'll see it. All right. All right. All right. So what? What, the creatures, you say? what w happened to the? Because he was caught in the end of season one. That elevator to floor 16. Same location, to floor 16. Maintenance Oh, okay, so this was the elevator do guy who died. He can dance. So this is the sister location. Place. Oi! <laughs> Oi, you slag! You wanker! Oi! <laughs> what the hell? Where are you? Computer, it is full stop! It is full stop! Oh, computer! <laughs> 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 Absolute panic in the freaking voice. I mean, yeah, you're about to die. I mean, it, it makes sense. Henry, you have the evidence you need. Henry, you have the evidence you need. Go to him. Go to him. Yeah. Confront the truth. Okay. Nah. I think I'm going to go on holiday. To the Maldives. Forget all about this. Take my retirement money and go home. Too much death surrounding me. That was good. I like that. That was super dope. Um... I see what you mean by series two. Definitely, the 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 production definitely went up. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with Instant Logs three, because I think that one's going to be a slow burner for sure. Because not much happened in the first episode, if I remember correctly. I can't even read what this says. Thank you for coming out and supporting me. I am eternally grateful. That was cool, man. I enjoyed that. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll watch the um, we'll watch the last episode on a separate video because technically that'll be everything then that I've reacted to. I've reacted to the first season, and uh, that that'll wrap up the second season. And obviously, we started first shift. I did this in a very strange order. I did this in like a freaking Star Wars saga. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Happened. Yeah, so it's William, you see. He looks like the Joker from Batman. All right, there we go, guys. That was a Reach Animations. Be sure to go and subscribe. Go show your support. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, well, I leave a like, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.